if you're a taxpayer in Kentucky, you should be very concerned about the process. There's about 100 people in this room who are witnesses to the fact that even though we have had subcommittee reports and different things going on, but to get the actual document that's about a $20 billion budget that's going to be viewed on and affects every citizen in this commonwealth at 1108 on the 44th day is very troubling to me, and it should be troubling to every citizen in this commonwealth. So uh, I just want to make that clear as we move forward. Thank you for letting me make that comment, and appreciate that chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have uh, Greg Rush, our budget director, who is uh, here with us today. He is going to give us an overview of the changes. As everybody know, the, I mean, the, you know, the budget bill has been out there since January 21st. The governor presented one. Uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, of course, made adjustments, which we always do. Uh, I, I would argue that, that much of the governor's budget bill is intact. Uh, that uh, there haven't been wholesale changes like a couple of the uh, budgets that I've done before now where we did have to make major changes, especially in 2010. But this bill has, has been out there. You know, the Kentucky House of Representatives, in my judgment, is really the only open hearing that we have on the budget. When the executive branch does the budget, they, they basically do it. And we find out about it about 10 o'clock in the morning before the governor gives his budget address. The Senate has always used the practice where they have very few hearings uh, on it, and they will usually move it out of committee and to the floor with just in a few hours. But we have had committee hearings which, which uh, include probably nearly 70 members of the Kentucky House of Representatives, either as full members <clears throat> or liaison members uh, of budget committees. Uh, of budget subcommittees, and those committees meet. They have hearings. I know the gentleman from Hardin, Representative Lee, uh, has extensive meetings on his. He, he has meetings that allow almost any citizen uh, uh, or any organization or group to come and testify before his subcommittee. So he has a, a very open process. Yesterday, we had subcommittee reports where, in advance, we rolled out many of the changes that will be in this. And today we're going to have a hearing, and the House leadership, since I have been chair of the budget, has always asked me to move the budget and not really move it off the floor until the next day so members have a chance to amend it on the floor. That is unusual. That doesn't always happen. Uh, so I think this process is open. Uh, it is fair. It does allow everybody to have input on the budget, and I think this document reflects that input.